Hello Leos, this is your ex reading for the 14th through the 20th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Leo, what's going on for my Leo? There you are. What's going on for Leo? Hmm. Starting over. Maybe some of you guys have started new jobs, new biz businesses. Um, I think that this is going to be something that is definitely for you. Some of you have just started dating or there is somebody that you are interested in, I feel, that you want to start with. Okay? You want to start something with someone here. But I feel like um, there's definitely something that you guys need to talk about because it's like you don't want to lose yourself is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Hmm. What is that about Leo's? Let's see. Leo's ex current situation. What is Leo's ex current situation here? King of Wands. Maybe you guys are thinking about a Leo like yourself, maybe an Aries individual, um, but this person is very confident, I feel. Um, maybe a little cocky even, but nevertheless, they are sure of themselves, I feel, okay? Standing in their elements, standing in their power, um, feeling very in control of their life. This is somebody that likes to go out. They like to interact with people. They like to be noticed, okay? Whoever this is. Let's see. How does Leo perceive their ex? How does Leo perceive their ex? Hmm. So the Queen of Cups, they are very loving. Maybe that they have moved on. So the Three of Wands, they're hurt. Hmm. You feel like you've hurt this person or they've hurt you. Because one of you, I feel, was not all in. Not, um, you know, giving the other one what they were giving you. However this is going for you guys. Either you felt like you didn't give this person your all or they felt like you didn't give them your all. Hmm. Or either they felt like they didn't give you their all, you know, however this is going. But there's definitely a, um, somebody here that feels like, you know, they basically were shat on, you know, that sort of thing. That the other person was not there for them through thick and thin. Hmm. Let's see. What is Leo's ex perception of Leo? Leo's ex perception of Leo. Leo's ex perception of Leo. King of Swords, that you are just. Um, they felt like you guys really didn't love them like that, okay? They felt like you were kind of cold to them, that you didn't allow yourself to feel any depth of emotion for them, that you always had your back turned. Maybe you guys were always in and out. Um, maybe they felt like you guys were kind of arrogant, kind of arrogant, kind of aloof. Um, not extending yourself to them. Hmm. They they may feel like you guys are also in a relationship. Maybe you guys are in a same sex relationship even. Hmm. Let's see. What are Leo's feelings about getting back together here? What are Leo's feelings about getting back together? I think that's definitely what you would like. Um, I think, you know, this person is possibly your wish fulfillment here. 
Hmm. I think that in the meantime, you guys, you know, you may be going out and having a good time, you know, dating or what have you. But I think at the end of the day, I feel like this person you feel is your person. That's what I'm getting from this. Leo's ex's feelings about getting back together here. Please show me what Leo's ex's feelings are about getting back together here. The star. I think Cancer got this same card in this same spot. Maybe it wasn't the same spot, but I definitely feel like um, this person wants to. And I really feel like. <laughs> look at this. The Nine of Cups is, um, you know, wish fulfillment. Okay. And the star is definitely wish fulfillment falling right under each other you guys both feel like each other is the one this person I feel like they provide maybe some healing energy to you guys maybe an Aries individual they may have air in their chart like Aquarius um, Gemini even here but they definitely provide some healing energy I feel I feel like they they like they soak up um, what do you call it they, they soak up like wounds um, they take a lot of abuse not saying that you guys abuse them but what I mean by that is that they're basically there to help people they may not even realize this but this is somebody that usually likes to um, they like being there for people they like taking care of people they like helping people and they don't really do it with anything with with any expectations is what I'm getting from from this person here okay they're stronger now and I feel like this person is probably stronger than what you've seen them before so they still have this healing energy though for sure but they're definitely stronger now and they they know who they are okay but you guys are each other's wish fulfillment um, I like that I definitely like that let's see how Leo can help um, this reconciliation. How can Leo help this reconciliation? How can Leo help this reconciliation? Six of Pentacles. I had a feeling that was coming up. So, my Leo friends, I feel like, you know, going back to this Five of Pentacles, if you see, we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles here. That's the Six of Pentacles. But this is definitely somebody being hurt. Okay. So what I'm getting is that maybe at, at a certain point, you guys, you know, I think you, you really know that you didn't give everything that you could. So now, in order to reconcile this situation, you guys are going to have to be open to reciprocating fully. You know, being all in, giving everything of you that you can to this connection. Within reason. I mean, you don't just lose yourself in a connection. Of course not. But you, you know what I mean. Doing what is necessary. Okay. Yeah. How can Leo's ex increase the chances of reconciliation here? How can Leo's ex increase the chances of reconciliation? Leo's ex. How can Leo's ex increase the chances of reconciliation? Seven of Wands. Just standing by what they believe. Um, protecting themselves, their healing. Um, and, and continuing to walk their path. Not straying from it. Hmm not straying from it because that's what they're doing they're healing 
they're regenerating so they can heal other people as well okay including you know you guys and yeah all right so the potential outcome for leo the potential outcome for leo and their ex what is the potential outcome for leo and their ex the four of cups Hmm. Honestly, what I'm getting right now for this week anyway, this is um, the moon in Cancer. And Cancers are very filling. It's a very, you know, emotional sign. They are, um, they like to help people until they get burned is the thing. So um, what I'm getting here is that this person is really not focused on love at this point. They definitely know who you guys are. Definitely know. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. But they've been hurt. And right now, the Four of Cups energy is a comfortable energy for them. Because they are healing. They're healing from hurt, from heartache, okay? And so right now, I don't think they are, not saying that they're not open to love, they're not looking for it, definitely not. Do they have feelings for you still? Undoubtedly, undoubtedly. But right now, they're, they're trying to protect their healing and not allowing someone to affect them emotionally is for them the best way to protect themselves right now okay but doesn't mean it's not going to change okay because this is just for the 14th through the 20th guys all right so we have cancer taurus pisces aquarius excuse me <clears throat> my gosh um aries is here for sure maybe gemini okay guys I will talk to you soon.